Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, my co-host, Mr. Brody, bringing you another game from the 1977 Boston Red Sox season using Out of the Park Baseball 18. Mr. Brody here is the GM and manager of the 1977 Boston Red Sox, attempting to um, revamp the Red Sox and get a better team leading into 1978 and trying to get as far as they can in 1977. Currently, they're 21 and 24. Um, still in the process of revamping the team, although we've got a bunch of different additions. And today I thought was a special game because the one of their acquisitions, Doc Medich, will be pitching for the Red Sox, and he'll be going up against one of the guys that we got rid of, Don Ossie for the Texas Rangers. We got Don Ossie from the Rangers for Toby Hera, the third baseman. So also Toby Hera, who was a Ranger, is now um, on the Red Sox, and it looks like Roy Howell is taking his place at third base for the Rangers. Brings up Garcia. So, Don Asi on the mound. Let's check out his stats here. Since being traded to the Rangers, he's got a 3 and 1 record with a 4.23 earn run average. Overall, he's 4 and 1 with a five, 56 innings pitched, 48 hits allowed, 21 earned runs, 18 walks, and 34 strikeouts, and has an area of 3.36. The Red Sox lineup is as follows. Danny Doyle, the second baseman, will bat first. He'll be followed by Toby Hera, the third baseman, who they got from the Rangers. Batting third is the left fielder, Kyle Yastrzemski. Batting cleanup is Jim Rice in right field today. Batting fifth is Lagrand Durange, Rusty Staub at DH. Batting sixth behind the plate, Carlton Fisk. George Scott is the first baseman batting seventh. Dwight Evans just recently off the disabled list a couple games ago. And Oyshemski is too. Um, will bat eighth and play cent center field today. Fred Lynn still on the DL. And batting ninth is the shortstop Rick Burleson. So Denny Doyle will lead it off for the Red Sox. He comes in hitting 273 with two homers and 12 runs batted in. And we're going to have Burleson hit away. He's 9 for 30. For an average of 300. On the first pitch. Texas Rangers at 25 and 20 coming into this game. In fourth place in the AL West. 64 degrees. And here is the pitch. And that's going to be a little number in front of the plate. Ossie's got it. Over to Hargrove at first for out number one. Next up will be Toby Hara. Toby Hara hitting 247 with six homers and 24 runs overall. It's being acquired by the Red Sox. He's hitting 313 with four homers and 16 runs batted in. 458 on base percentage with the Red Sox. And he is 5 for 15 on the first pitch, so he'll swing away. Full count now. And that's going to be inside for ball four. Hera has walked quite a bit too since being on the Red Sox, as you can tell by his high on base percentage. And John Ellis is behind the plate. And he's got a catcher arm of 50. So I think we're going to we're gonna try to steal with Hera here. See if he can get a jump. As Yastrzemski comes to the plate. Yastrzemski hitting 372 with three runs batted in. Just 43 at-bats. He was on the DL for about a month or so. So just getting back into the swing of things. And Hera did not get a good jump. Ball one, one and zero. I think we'll try again. Yeah, it'll be in there for a strike one and one. Harris still unable to get a good jump off of Ossie and Ellis. 
It's a one and one count on Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski set hitting is five for seven when the count's one and one. And he continues. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a 2 2 delivery and it's going to be caught by Benitez in center. as makes a great diving catch. So two down now. I think we'll try to steal again with Hera. And I'll be inside for ball one. Jim Rice up to the plate now. And let him try to steal again. Here he goes. And he's going to be in there with a stolen base. So Harry gets his sixth stolen base for the season. And he's in scoring position. Count one and one on Rice. 2-2 two -two count. And it's a little never to shortstop. Campanaris up with it over to first. And that'll do it for the Red Sox. So Red Sox unable to score. So after one half, it's Boston nothing and Texas coming up. Doc Medich on the hill for the Red Sox. He's got a record of 3-3 three and three overall with 62 and a third innings pitch. 63 hits allowed. 30 earned runs, 29 walks, and 27 strikeouts. 4.33 earned run average. Since being a member of the, since becoming a member of the Red Sox, he's 1-0 and in four games. This being the fourth game. 21 and two-thirds innings pitched. Seven, only tw uh, 12 walks and nine strikeouts with an area of 3.74. So the lineup for the hometown Texas Rangers is going to be Juan Beniquez, the center fielder will bat first. He'll be followed by Bump Wills, the second baseman. Batting third is the first baseman, Mike Hargrove. Batting cleanup, the left fielder, Claudel Washington. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Burt Campanaris. Roy Howell, the third baseman, bat sixth. Batting 7th is the right fielder, Dave May. Ken Henderson is the DH today, batting 8th. And John Ellis will start today behind the plate and bat ninth. So Benitez comes in hitting 299 with 5 homers and 15 runs batted in. And he will pitch regularly. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. So Benitez gets a hit. Stremski will, George Scott will hold him on. The outfield behind Medich is going to be Stremski and left. Evans in center and Rice and right. Stremski with the best range and best arm above average in both areas in left field. Jim Rice with a above average arm and right. And Evans with an average arm in center. Evans not quite as good as, as he is in right field at center field. Only a 35 below average range. Rice with average range in center. In the infield, left to right is Hera, Burleson, Doyle, and Scott. All average range except for Burleson who's above average range. Behind the plate, Colin Fisk above average. And that's a Red Sox... Defense behind Medich. So Bump Wills up now. He, he 239 on the season. His rookie season with three homers and 18 runs batted in. Scott holding Benitez on. And he'll throw over to first. Benitez back safely. So he's the one-two pitch. And this one's hit a long way. And that one is going to be gone. So Bump Wills launches a home run off of Doc Medich. And Texas leads 2 to nothing. So a 36 and above is a no doubter. So Wills with his fourth home run of the season. So to bring up Mike Hargrove hitting 284 with four homers and 33 runs batted in. And he'll draw a walk. Four pitch walk. Fisk goes out the top to Medich, tries to settle him down. Scott holding on, Hargrove. So that'll bring up Washington, hitting 313 on the season with three homers and 27 runs batted in. Does not have a good eye, so we'll pitch around him. And Doyle goes, oh, Doyle cannot make that catch. 
Doug goes out into the center field but cannot get to it. That's going to be an error on Doyle, E4. Still nobody out. Runners on first and second. Campaneris up now. Hitting 223 with a homer and 16 runs batted in. And he'll strike out. So Mitch finally gets it out. On the fifth batter. Campaneris. So Royal Howell up now. Howell comes in hitting 254 with five homers and 28 runs batted in. Red Sox playing back for two. And this one's hit deep to right. Rice is on the track and he'll make the catch. So he makes the catch in the corner. As Hargrove tags and moves up to third. So runners at the corners with two down. For Dave May, the right fielder. Comes in hitting 311 with five homers and 23 runs batted in. And that's going to be hit the Doyle. It's up with it over to Scott. And that'll do it. But the damage done as Bump Wills goes yard for a two-run shot to give Texas a 2-0 lead after one. Rusty Staub to lead it off for the Red Sox. DH comes in hitting 298 on the season with three homers and 20 runs batted in. 393 on base percentage. In the Red Sox uniform, he's hitting 287 with three homers and 16 runs batted in with a 398 on base percentage. So we'll have him take a pitch here. Hitting just 154 in this first pitch. And that'll be in there for a ball. So 1 and 0 count now. 410 ahead in the count. And that's going to fall in for a base hit. So a good start for the Red Sox second as Staub gets on with a leadoff single. Staub not a threat to run. Hargrove holding him on anyway. Fisk up now. Fisk comes in hitting 292 with 7 homers and 29 runs batted in. He's 6 for 10 on the first pitch, so he'll swing away. And he gets plunked with it. That one got away from Ossie. So that'll put runners on first and second. Nobody out. For George Scott. Scott comes in hitting 237 with 8 homers and 33 runs batted in. He'll take a pitch. And he'll be in their first strike. Here's a 3-2 pitch. That's lined up the middle. Staub will hold that third. That'll load the bases with nobody out. For Dwight Evans. Evans comes in hitting 250 with two homers and 18 runs batted in. Hitting just 125 on the first pitch, so he'll take one here. And that's going to be outside for ball one. 471 ahead in the count, so he'll swing away. And he'll draw the walk. That RBI bases loaded walk for Evans. And it's 2-1 to one now. As Ellis goes out the to top to Ossie. Willis and Campaneris join in the conversation. They go back behind the plate. Back to their positions. So Rick Burleson up now. Burleson walked his first time up. And we'll have him take a pitch here. And it's in there for a strike with the fastball. It's 1 1 pitch. Hit on the ground the second. Over to second for one. Back to first. And they turn two. But a run does come home. No RBI on the play. Fist scores. And it's 2 2 now. So Scott moves over to third. Denny Doyle up now. Doyle 0 for 1. And he's going to hit this one. Oh, and it's going to be caught by Washington and left. If the Red Sox do score two, and after one and a half, it's tied up at two. DH Ken Henderson will lead it off. Switch hitting. He'll bat left against the lefty against the righty Medich. Henderson comes in hitting 322 with two homers and 14 runs batted in. 
and the Red Sox in here. And he'll pitch around him. One two pitch. Hit to left. Ostremski's there. And makes the catch for out number one. John Ellis up now. Ellis hitting just 167 on the season with four runs batted and 42 at bats. Hit on the ground, the Burleson. Up with it over to Scott, and that'll do it for out number two. Top of the order, Benitez up now. He's one for one. Came around on the home run by Wills. Three two pitch. Hit on the ground, the Doyle. Over to Scott, and that'll do it as the Rangers go in order in the second. So after two full, it's 2 2. Harrell will lead it off. He walked his first time up. Easily makes that catch. 3 2 pitch, and he'll walk again. So Hera has walked twice against Asi. Take me up to the ball again. Frank Hoare. Have him try to steal again. Hera unable to get a jump. Shemsky lays off for ball one. And we'll have Shemsky swing away here. Hit on the ground. That's going to go through the hole in le into left field. Hera moves up the second. So it'll put runners on first and second with nobody out for Jim Rice. Rice with an RBI opportunity here. Seven pole, Red Sox three and two. One two pitch. And he'll strike out. So a big strikeout for Asi. Brings up Legrand Durange, Rusty Staub. He's one for one. And this time Johnson gets it. And it's gonna be outside for ball one on the curve ball. One oh pitch. Hit back to the mound. And it'll be a one four three double play. So Boston cannot score. And after two and a half, it remains tied at two. Wills will lead it off for the Rangers here in the top bottom of the third. He homered off Medich, put Texas ahead two to nothing. Here's the one-one pitch. A little number in front of the plate. Medich is off the mound, gets it, and fires over to Scott for out number one. That'll bring up Hargrove. Hargrove walked his first time up. One two pitch. Lined out to Burleson. Snags it for the out. And we have Washington. Washington's 0 for 1 on the day. 3 0 pitch. And it'll be inside for ball four. So he walks on four pitches. Washington definitely a threat to steal. Medich will hold them, watch them closely. Fires over and back safely. Here's the 1 0 pitch, and Clado's off of the pitch, and that's going to go into center field. So who's the error going to. Oh, error is going to be on Fisk, his third of the season. So Washington move all the way to third with two down. 2 0 count on Campanaris. And that's going to fall through for a base hit. This Campanaris will score with third Texas run, and they'll take the lead 3-2. to two. So the error by Fisk proves costly. Throw over to first. Campanaris back safely. That brings up Howell for one. And that's going to be hit. Yastrzemski will make a great diving catch in shallow center. Unbelievable on that one. But Texas does get the go-ahead run. Oh, is that an injury? Ah, oh, Yastrzemski is going to be taken out of the ball game. Not good for the Red Sox. Not good for the Red Sox, as he is 
diagnosis pending. Not good. He just came off the DL. Ah. All right. Guess we're gonna have to bring in Bernie Cabo. Uh, definitely not good. Red Sox having trouble keeping their outfielders healthy. In the last game, we had an interesting situation. With the Red Sox up by three runs, and a runner on first with two down, they let the pitcher hit, which makes no sense. All right, so Fisk will lead it off the Red Sox in the fourth. I'm not sure why they didn't change it that Fisk walked his first time up. Had a zero batting average. And this one's going to be hit to right. That one's going to get down and go to the wall. And Fisk will be in there with a double. So, time run in scoring position now with nobody out for the Red Sox. As Colin Fisk is hitting 11 straight games now. Jim Rice was player of the month for the American League. For the Red Sox. For the month of uh, May. So Jim Rice wins that honor. Jackie Bradley. So Scott up to the plate now. Scott one for one on the day. He'll take a pitch here. Right. That's going to be in there for a strike. 3-2 pitch. That's going to be popped up. Wills ranges over. Wills comes all the way in and catches it almost near home plate. As Fisk gets back to second. So one out now for Dwight Evans. He had a bases loaded walk his first time up. He'll take one here. And that's in there for a strike. And that one's going to be popped up. So that won't get the job done as Benitez makes the catch. So Rick Burleson up now, 0 for 1. And it's be at the knees for strike 1. 0 2 pitch. And it's hit out to right. And May will make the catch to end the inning. So Red Sox. Cannot take advantage of a leadoff double as Fisk gets stranded there. And it remains 3 2 Texas. So May will lead it off, looking for his first hit of the day. <laughs> 1 1 pitch. That's hit out to left. Carbo comes in and makes a Great diving catch. So Bernie Garbo replacing Stremski makes a great catch. Hopefully Stremski, his injury is not too serious. Hopefully he didn't re-injure what he injured before. So Henderson up now. Henderson 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Here on the ground to Hera. And oh, I don't know if that's going to be in time. Nope, didn't get much on that throw. So an infield single for Henderson as Scott holds him on. Throw to first, back safely. Center so we have John Ellis. Ellis 0 for 1. No runs, one hit, and one left on. So do it for the Red Sox in the ninth. So hit in the bottom of the ninth. And that's going to be hit through the hole. And it looks like Carbo had issues with picking up that one and runners move up a base. So Carbo with an error. Boston's third error of the day. And we'll put runners on second and third of the one down. Red Sox will play the infield in. Benica's one for two on the day. And it's going to be bunted foul. Oh, that looked like it was foul, but I guess it wasn't. I guess they're going to consider that fair. 
So it's out number two. Look filed to me, but what Henderson holds, he, he probably thought it was fouled too, but still you would think he'd be off of the pitch. So two outs now for Bump Wills. One for two with a two-run homer back in the first to put Texas on top. Red Sox looking to get out of this without any further damage. 2-2 two -two pitch. And, oh, it looks like he's going to... No, they get him. I thought Wills was going to beat that one out, but they do get him. And it remains a 3-2 to -two game. So, Groot off balance throw by Brosin gets him. So, Aussie back on the hill in the start the fifth. Up 3-2. to two. Doyle will lead it off. Doyle hitless on the day. 3-2 pitch. That's going to be popped up in the foul territory. Howells there and makes the catch in the coach's box for out number one. Toby Hare up now. Hare has been up twice and he's walked twice. 2-2 pitch. And this time he'll strike out. So two outs now for Bernie Carbo getting his first at bat of the day. Hitting just 181 with a homer and nine runs batted in. 2-2 pitch. And strike three. Misses that one. So one, two, three go the Red Sox. So halfway through it's Texas three and Boston two. It'll be Hargrove, Washington, and Campanera. So anybody gets on Howell against Medich. Medich up to 73 pitches through four innings. So his pitch count is pretty high so far. Hargrove officially 0 for 1 on the day. This will be popped up. Medich calls for it. And Rosen calls him off and makes the catch for out number 1. Washington 0 for 1 officially. I think, believe he walked once. And that's going to be hit to Doyle. I'll put it over to Scott for out number two. Can't be Campaneris, one for two with an RBI. Oh, he two, two, two pitch. And that's going to split Carbo and Evans. That'll drop in there. So all three Red Sox outfield is out of position here. Actually, we're going to try something here. I think Rice is actually better in left and Carbo better in right. So we're going to switch them around. Let's check this out here. Yeah, Rice slightly better in left. And Carbo. Same in right, so we're going to switch them. So Rice will move to left. Carbo to right. Yeah, Evans is the only one that can play center outside and move Evans to right, but. Alright. There we go. Alright, so Campanaris on first. Scott holding him on. Throw to first. And he's back safely. That'll bring up Howell. Howell's 0 for 2 on the day. And that's a liner to Doyle. He'll catch it for out number 3. So side retired in the home half of the 5th. And after 5 full, it's still 3-2 Texas. Jim Rice leads it off. 0 for 2. I see up to 94 pitches through five innings, so this is most likely going to be his last inning. 1-0 pitch. And May comes in and makes the catch for out number one. Stab up now. Stab one for two. He'll take a pitch. And that's way outside for ball one. That's over four the run score. Enjoy it over four. 2-1 pitch. And that's going to fall in there for a base hit at the center. And 
Fisk one for one officially. Three two pitch. Popped up. Hargrove calls for it and makes the catch. So two down now for George Scott. Scott one for two on the day. 1 0 pitch. And he gives this one a jolt. And that one, is it going to stay fair? Yes. So George Scott with a two run bomb puts the Red Sox on top. 4 to 3 now. So Scott hits his ninth home run of the season. Gets high fived as he goes to the dugout. Evans 0 for 1 officially with an RBI. Peterson 0 for 3. Smith 0 for 3. 0-2 pitch. Strikes him out. The damage done is George Boomer Scott. It's a two-run blast to give the Red Sox a 4-3 lead as we head to the bottom of the sixth. So Menich with a lead for the first time today. And Medich is up to 85 pitches. He had a good inning last inning, so I think we're going to... Yeah, we won't have anybody warming up yet. So May 0 for 2 up to the plate. 0 1 pitch. Hit in the air to right. Carbo's there. And he'll make the catch for the first out of the sixth. Henderson 1 for 2 up to the plate. 1 2 pitch. Hit on the ground, the Doyle. Over to Scott at first for out number two. So two up and two down for the Rangers in the sixth. Brings up John Ellis, the catcher, one for two. One one pitch. Hit in the air to right. Evans gives chase and makes the great running catch. So the Rangers go one, two, three in the sixth. So Ossie's back out there for the 7th. Burleson will lead it off. Burleson 0 for 2. And he'll take a pitch here. And that's going to be in there. Oh no, it's going to miss for a ball. So Ossie's up to 113 pitches. 3-1 count on Burleson. That hit, hit up the middle for a base hit. Burleson gets his first hit of the day. Red Sox looking to add some insurance here. And I think we're going to have Doyle bunt. So Doyle squares around the bunt, gets it down. Oh, and they're going to get the lead runner in turn two. Wow. So Ossie turns, turns the fields of the bunt and throws it to second for one, back to first for a double play. Ouch. And bring up Harrow, 1 2 count. Hit on the ground to third, howl up with it, over to first, and that'll do it. The Red Sox unable to get the bunt down. And that'll do it for them in the seventh. Seventh inning stretch down, take me out to the ball game. Texas will have top of the order Beniquez, Willis, and Hargrove up. We're going to put on a lefty here. You definitely miss Bill Lee. Hmm. Tight game. We'll have Bill Campbell warm up. So Gil, Bill Campbell starts loosening up in the Red Sox pen. Benique has one for three on the day. 1-0 pitch. And Burleson makes the catch in the line shot for out number one. Bump Wills. Two-run homer back in the first. One for three. Hit on the ground to Scott. Fields it. Medich covers for out number two. I grow up now 0 for 2. And he gives this one a blast, and that one is gone. 
That one just stays fair, and it's a 4-4 game now. Ouch. That's going to be hit up the middle. That's going to... A nice catch by Evans to end the inning. And that's going to be it for Medich, but he surrenders the home run to tie the game at four. So it'll be Carbo, Rice, and Staub up for the Red Sox. As Adrian Devine comes in for the Rangers, he's got a record of 3-0 and with a 1.63 earn run average. 20 and 27 and two-thirds innings pitch, 23 hits allowed, 5 earned runs, 7 walks, and 17 strikeouts. So he is going to, Carbo will take a pitch here. Yeah, it's going to be in there for a strike. 0 1 pitch. Hit in the air to right. May comes in and makes the catch for out number 1. So Jim Rice up to the plate now. Hitless on the day. Hit on the ground, the short. Campaneros up with it. Over to first. So two up and two down for the Red Sox here in the eighth. Rusty Staub up now. Staub, two hits and three trips today. And that's a strike. Strike one. Hit in the air to right. May comes in and makes the catch. So the Red Sox go in order in the eighth. So Medich's day is done. Bill Campbell comes in. Campbell 0-2 on the season with 4.58 ER earn run average. 17 and two-thirds innings pitch, 12 hits allowed, 9 earned runs, 12 walks and 10 strikeouts. So he'll face Campaneris to lead it off. Campaneris 2 for 3 with an RBI. Two two pitch. And he'll get him for strike three on the outside corner. So Roy Howell. Howell hitless on the day. 3-1 pitch. And that's going to be ball four. So Scott will hold on Howell. Throws over to first. Howell's back safely. Dave May hitless on the day also. Hit in the air to right. And that's going to drop in there. As Rice cannot get to that one. So Howell will hold that second. So runners on first and second with one down. Henderson up now. One for three on the day. Hit on this could be two over to second horn. Back to first. And the Red Sox turn the 4-6-3 double play. So nothing doing for Texas in the eighth as we head to the ninth. Tied at four. Fisk will lead it off. Fisk, one for two on the day, officially. Divine back out there for a second inning of work. 2-2 two -two pitch. And this one's hit a ways into center field. But Nikas is there just short of the track to make the catch for out number one. So that'll bring up Scott now. And we're going to start warming up Willoughby. Just in case. So George Scott comes to the plate. Hit a two-run bomb to put the Red Sox ahead 4-3 to three at the time. Now has nine home runs on the season. Here's the one-two pitch. And strike three. Swinging. So two down now for Dwight Evans. Evans over two with a RBI. Two-one pitch. And that's going to be hit through the left for a single. Wilson one for three. Takes one here as they throw over to first. Evans back safely. 
And that's going to be ball one. 1-0 one pitch. Hit on the ground to Hargrove. Takes to the bag himself. And that'll do it for the Red Sox in the ninth. So we'll head to the bottom of the ninth with the score tied at four. Rangers will send Ellis, Benitez, and Wills. Ellis one for three on the day. And that's going to be ball four. And that's going to be it for Ellis as Mr. Brody comes out to take out Ellis. Let me take out uh, Campbell as Jim Willoughby comes in. So Ellis, Ellis not a threat to steal. Vinicius could bunt here though. So we're going to play the corners in. Expecting the bunt here. So Willoughby comes in with a record of 2-2, two and 2.59 two, ERA, 24 and a third innings pitch, 22 hits allowed, 7 earned runs, 13 walks and 13 strikeouts. Here's the 1-0 pitch, popped up, Harris is there to make the catch for the first out. So that's going to be a bump Wills, 1-2 for two with a homer. 1-0 pitch. Hit on the ground. This could be two over to second horn. Back to first. 6-4-3 double play. And we're headed to extra innings. So, top of the 10th. Red Sox will send the top of the order. Doyle, Hara, and Carbo if anybody gets on. Rice. Daryl Knowles in there, the pitch for the Rangers. He's got a record of 0-1-1 with a 4.32 earn run average. 16 and two-thirds innings pitch, 19 hits allowed, eight runs, seven walks, and two strikeouts. So Doyle will take a pitch here. And that's going to be in there for a strike. 0-2 pitch. That'll be hit up the middle, so a good start to the Red Sox 10th as Doyle reaches. It's going to bring up Hera. Hmm. I think we're going to have Hera bunt. So Hera is going to square around to bunt. Hopefully we'll have better results with this bunt. Drops one down. This one a good one. And they just get here. As Doyle moves in the scoring position now for Carbo. Hmm. Who do we have? Who do we have for pinch hitters here? Not much. <laughs> so Carbo will hit for himself here. Um, take one here. And sinker taken for a strike. A one pitch. And that's going to be a Bach. So the umpire calls a Bach on Knowles. Wow. That could be huge. So that go ahead run now just 90 feet away. A one pitch on Carbo. One two pitch. Hit on the ground. And Doyle holds that third. Carbo unable to get the job done. See what Rice can do. Rice do. He's 0 for 4 on the day. After being player of the month for the month of May. Let's see what he can do here. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's hit on the line. Down the line. And Rice is out. So Rice... Cannot get the run home, and he's 0 for 5. So we'll be back on the hill for another inning. Hargrove will lead it off. Hargrove 1 for 3 with a homer. Solo home run tied the game. That's why we're in extra innings now. 3-0 pitch. And he's going to walk. So 
And Gossage is going to start loosening up in the pen for the Red Sox. We'll be over to first. Back safely. So Washington up now. Is Washington going to threat to bunt? Not really. So we'll play back. Hit up the middle. Only play. Oh, did they get him? I don't think so. Ah, so an infield hit. So it'll put runners on for so the winning run in scoring position now. This is the mound. Uh, Gossage is not ready yet, so Campanaris is get he's got Willoughby's gonna have to pitch to Campanaris here. One two pitch. And strikes him out. So a big strike out there. So one down now. He's got to be ready by now. Yes, Gossage is ready and he'll come in. So Gossage hoping to get turn two here. Get double play somehow. Or at least get a, or a strikeout. Now, how 0 for 3 on the day. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Ooh, this might not be good. Come on. Hit on the ground. This could be two over to second. One about the first end. Are oh, you safe? Oh, man. That's going to put runners at the corners now. They do get one. So Dave May won for four. So as Fisk goes out the top, the Gossage makes sure they're on the same page. Goes back behind the plate. Gossage looks in for the sign, looks at the runners, kicks and delivers, 3-1 pitch. Oh, and that's going to load the bases. Henderson up now, one for four. Perhaps they pitched around him purposely, knowing they had a base open. 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground, the Doyle over to first, and they get out of it. So Gossage comes in and puts out the fire. As they had runners on first and second with nobody out. So Red Sox will have Staub, Fisk, and Scott up here on the 11th. Staub 2 for 4 on the day. He'll be taking here as Knowles is back out for his second inning of work. 0-1-1. And that's a pop-up. Who wants it? Looks like Howell takes control and makes the catch for out number one. Fisk up now one for three. 0 1 pitch. And that one's blasted to center, but this one will stay in the park. Monique is there for out number two. Here comes the Boomer Scott. He's hit one today. Can he hit another? 3 2 pitch. And strikes out. The Red Sox go in order in the 11th. Gossage out here for a second inning of work. Ellis will lead it off. 3-1 count. Hit on the ground to Burleson. Over to first for out number one. That'll bring up Beniquez. Beniquez one for five on the day. And that's going to be a base hit to left. So Manika is on with a one out base knock. Gossage throws over to first. Manika is back safely. Wills one for five with a homer back in the first. The two run shot. And he strikes out with a second out. Hargrove is one for three with a homer. 3-1 pitch, and he'll draw the walk. Second walk given up by Gossage today. Washington one for four. And he's going to draw. Oh, man, that's going to load the bases. So the winning run is 90 feet away. Campanaris up now. 
Campaneros two for five with an RBI. 1-0 pitch, hit in the air to left. Rice is there, and he'll make the catch. So once again, the Red Sox dodge a bullet. Ooh, the Red Sox have left in the pen. Oh God, Stanley's been off on Tom Murphy. I don't know which one's worse. I guess we're going to have to start. Oh boy. Not yet. Let's... Oh, he's tired. I got to warm up somebody. Yeah. We'll wait one batter. So, Winblad on now. 2 and 1 record, 19 and 2 thirds innings pitched, 275 earned run average, 14 hits allowed, 6 runs, 9 walks, and 5 strikeouts. So Evans will lead it off. Evans 1 for 3 with an RBI. 3-1 pitch. And he's going to pop it up. Wills is there to make the catch for out number one. So Stanley will start warming up in the pen. <sighs> Not looking good for the Red Sox for their bullpen. Rick Burleson up now. Burleson one for four on the day. 2-2 Two -two pitch. This is hit out to left and a uh, great diving catch by May. One-handed catch. So Denny Doyle up now. Oh one one pitch. Hit on the ground to Wills over to first and that does it for the Red Sox. So they go in order. Go visit the mound. All right, so I guess we got to bring in Stanley as much as we do not want to. So we'll bring in Murphy to warm up as a backup. All right, so Roy Howell comes to the plate, hitless on the day. Stanley at 0 2 record, 8.46 on run average, 22 and a third innings pitch. 34 hits allowed, 21 earned runs, 12 walks, and 12 strikeouts. He's been awful lately. See what he can do here. 2-1 count on Howell. Hit to Scott, takes it to the bag himself for out number one. So good start to the 12th here. Dave May up now, one for four. And that's going to be hit to center. Evans moves over in right center field and makes the catch for out number two. Ken Henderson up now. Henderson one for five. And he'll draw the two out walk. Scott holding him on. Ellis up now. And that's going to be popped up. Who's got it? Doyle has it for out number three. We're going to sit him down so he doesn't get tired. So Toby here up first. 3-2 pitch. Oh, come on. Ah. Hits it to left. Washington makes the catch. Red Sox need a base runner. Carbo up now. 0 for 3 on the day since coming in for Yastrzemski. Sinker for a strike. All one pitch. Popped up. Who's got it? Wills for out number two. Jim Rice up now. He could put the Red Sox ahead with one swing of the bat. He's due 0 for 5 on the day. 1-2 pitch. Little never hit to Wills and that'll do it as the Rice is going 0 for 6 today. Then we we'll through another inning. Stanley back up to start the 13th. He'll face top of the order. Benitez to lead it off. Benitez 2 for 6 on the day. 1-1 one, one pitch. That one's hit way deep to left. 
looks like Rice has it for out number one. Bump Wills, one for six with a two with a two run homer back in the first. And he'll draw a one out walk. Hmm. All right. We get one more batter. Hargrove one for three. Ah, oh, man, are you kidding me? Another error by Fisk? Come on, what are the odds of that? Ah, <laughs> oh, now the Red Sox got to play the infield in now. Oh, my God. All right, well. Guess we got to bring in Murphy here. I feel it's got to play shell too. Oh, in. Actually, shallow. All right, here we go. Need a strikeout here. 0 oh, 1 pitch. And Doyle has it, holds the runner. Fires to first for out number two. Red Sox one more out and getting our way out of this. They've done it the last two innings. Washington one for four. Fisk goes out to talk to Murphy, make sure they're on the same page. No any wild pitchers or pass balls here. It's a one two pitch. Hit the Burleson over to first, and they get out of it once again. So the Red Sox once again dodge a bullet. They don't have much left in the bullpen now. As this is Murphy, this is their last pitcher. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh. Red Sox with nothing left. Oh jeez. Rusty Staub comes to the plate. They need to win it here. They need to get this run home. Tommy Boggs at the pitch for the Rangers. 0-1-1 with a 6.75 earned run average. Staub fought 2 for 5 on the day. We'll take a pitch. Ball 1, 1-0. 3-2 count, and Staub will get the walk. So we're going to have Dillard come in into pinch run for Staub. So Fisk, oh, Fisk can't bunt though, can he? No. Alright. Man. Right, have a swing away. 3-1 count on Fisk. Oh, come on. Be a walk. No. Double play. Ugh, no. Scott up now. Come on, Scott. We need a home run from you. Two for five with a two-run homer. Nope. May makes another brilliant catch. Tom Murphy back on the hill. Hit on the ground the third, hair up and over to first, one down. Roy Howell, hitless on the day, 0 for 5. Rolson up with over to first, two up and two down. Dave May, 1 for 5. I mean, a few, few brilliant catches out there today. And they go 1, 2, 3 in the 14th, so we head to the 15th. God, I really don't want to have, I don't really want to waste, so they're down to one pitcher, they're still in better shape than we are though, God. guess we'll start warming up Jack Baker just in case, 
Come on, Red Sox. Evans will lead it off, followed by Burleson and Doyle. Evans one for four with an RBI. 3-1 pitch. Oh, come on, walk. He'll draw the walk, so good start for the Red Sox. Rick Burleson, not a good bunter, I don't think. Nope. All right, we're going to try to bunt here anyway. Oh, it works. So Burleson gets, didn't look pretty, but gets the job done. So Denny Doyle up now with the runner in scoring position. One down. Boggs out there again. Doyle one for six. 2-2 two -two count. <sighs> Doyle at least gets the runner over, but with two down now. So a pass ball or a wild pitch could get this run in. Can Harrow be the hero against this former team here? 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground, and, ah, no. Boy. Can right, we get a lead Murphy in as long as we can? Henderson, one for five. Oh, nice diving catch by Rice. Excellent. Yeah, we get it. Can't bring in Baker. One for five is Ellis up now. <laughs> Little number up. Burleson with it over to first. So Murphy's coming and shut the door pretty much. Bonica has two for seven. And he's going to blast this one. Ah, oh, that one's going to get down and go to the wall. Ah, so Bonica is out with a two out double. Good. You better be strong. Come on, Wills. Here we go. No! Ah. <laughs> the Red Sox lose a heartbreaker in 15. Bump Wills delivers a walk-off run scoring single. So Wills got the... Scoring started and he finishes it as Tom Murphy gets the loss. Tough game to lose here. Good game though. Fortunately, it did not go the Red Sox way. Ugh. That was heartening, disheartening. So Dadasi pitches seven innings, seven hits, four runs, all of them earned, three walks, four strikeouts. Two innings pitched by both Divine, Knowles, Lindblad, and Boggs. All scoreless. Only two hits allowed and eight innings of work. So the Texas's pen did the job today. Boggs gets the win one and one. For the Red Sox, their pen was pretty good too. Murphy, the tough luck loser. But Willoughby, both Campbell, Willoughby, Gossage and Stanley uh, they didn't do that great actually they were able to wheeze a lot of a lot of stuff they allowed Red Sox pitching in one two three four five six seven and two-thirds innings allowed eight walks <laughs> eight walks and five hits but Medich did okay. Seven innings pitched, seven hits allowed, four runs, three of them earned, two walks, and one strikeout. Maybe Medich faced one batter too many as Harrow got the home run. To, I mean, uh, Hargrove got the home run to tie the game. Let's look at the final box score. Benitez, three for eight, two runs scored. Wills, two for seven with a run scored and three runs batted in. He's definitely player of the game. Bump Wills. My cargo of one for four with a big big solo home run. Three walks also. Washington one for five with a run scored. Two walks. Campaneers two for seven. Howell was 0 for six with a walk. Dave May was one for six with a walk, but had some great catches in right field. Ken Henderson one for six with a walk. And John Ellis one for six with a walk. The Red Sox, Danny Doyle was one for seven. 
Harrow was 0 for 4 with a couple of walks. Yastrzemski 1 for 2, left with an injury. Hopefully that won't be serious. Bernie Carbo was 0 for 4 in his replacement. Jim Rice was hitless on the day. That was a killer. 0 for 6. Rusty Staub, 2 for 5 with 2 runs scored. And a walk. Steve Dillard pin was the pinch runner in DH. 1 for 5. Did not get in that bat though. 1 for 5 with a run scored is Fisk. Scott 2 for 6 with a run scored and 2 runs batted. A 2 run blast. His ninth of the season. Evans 1 for 4 with a RBI. And Burleson 1 for 5. So the Red Sox with the loss will now fall to 21 and 25. So a tight contest at Arlington State. The Red Sox edge the Boston Rangers edge the Boston Red Sox by a score of 5 to 4. Texas second baseman Bump Wills was blasted a home run. Was named the player of the game. Yep. The win credited to Tommy Boggs in relief. The record improves the one and one. Murphy took the loss. The Red Sox at twenty one and twenty five have lost four in a row. So Wills had the game changing single in the bottom of the fifteenth on a one one curveball from Murphy. He banged a run scoring double single to center, giving the Rangers a five to four lead, five to four win. It was the forty ninth hit of the year for Wills. We put together today and came out with the win. Wills said in the post game remark, "That's the main thing." It always says that's the main thing. <laughs> they got to update this and make it a little more exciting. The play-by-play, -play, I think. Or the description. Alright, so let's look at the... Alright, so let's look at the standings here. Actually, let's see if we get any news on Yastrzemski. Actually, let's play through the finish today. See if a diagnosis on Yastrzemski. Uh, Yastrzemski suffered day to day, strained oblique. Recovery. Ah, so Yastrzemski is going to go back on the DL. No. Ah, not good. All right, so let's put Yastrzemski on the DL. Ah, not good. Just have him stay there until he gets healed. So we have to call up somebody else now, which is not good. Okay. Alright, so who do we gotta call up now? Let's see here. So looks like we got to bring up Sam Bowen or Barbie Darrell. Let's bring up Sam Bowen, I guess. All right, so Sam Bowen gets called up. We'll fix the lineup later. I thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, my co-host and manager, Mr. Brody, and Miss Mags here now. And we'll see what we can do now that Yastrzemski is back on the DL. Hopefully, Freddie Lynn will be out back in a couple of days. And Bill Lee soon, too. So, take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next Out of the Park Baseball 1977 replay with Mr. Brody as the GM. So, take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.